Hello, my name is Joe Dillette. I uh, don't do much chainsaw carving, but I got this opportunity to pick up this Black & Decker battery operated chainsaw that I'm going to be demonstrating. So I've got a piece of pine here that I'm going to do a Bugs Bunny in. And uh, this is a uh, battery operated 40 volt Black & Decker chainsaw. So uh, the 40 volt battery goes right on it like that. And uh, we're going to test out the life of the battery how much uh, sawing that you can do and uh, just the general operation of the chainsaw. So it's got an automatic oiler on it so you don't have to prime it to oil the chain and the bar. There's a little safety button on top that you pull back. See it's a quiet running. The tensioning on the chain is done without tools you can do it uh, right here. The chain is all tensioned. I've got the oil loaded in. It has a protection for the uh, arm here. Let's give it a try. So I don't know why it's stopping. Maybe my finger was coming off the trigger. But uh, we're just going to start roughing the block out. Right here I want to have Bugs Bunny hand coming down. I don't know what I want him to do. Maybe holding something in the hand. So I'm going to come in from the side here. Well, the saw seems to have power. Uh, when I stopped, that was me. Uh, I let my finger off the trigger just to uh, see how, how deep I was going. Um, so this is a pretty tough piece of pine, and uh, it's fairly hard. So I really like the way it cuts. So I'm going to do some more cutting and see uh, how the battery lasts on it. Uh, notice on the saw, it doesn't have the uh, carving bar. The carving bar comes more to a point on the end and uh, but it's got a anti-kickback chain. This is just the way I ordered it. The price was in that hundred and thirty dollar area without the battery and so because I had a couple batteries with another tool. So uh, so far I'm pretty happy with it. I'm liking the way that it makes a plunge cut. I, I like this chain and the anti-kickback. So normally uh, if you didn't have an anti-kickback chain uh, that would want to buck and come right out of the hole. 
So uh, I'm, I'm pretty pleased so far with it. I've been uh, uh, doing maybe about uh, 20 minutes and the battery looks like the battery is at about a one quarter right now so uh, I used about three quarters of the battery so far in about 20 minutes So first I'm going to cut out the profile and uh, then I'll start uh, doing the, the uh, carving in the front. I'm going to be a little careful with this neck, leave the neck thicker because I don't want to break the neck off when I'm doing the top. Well, I think that's about the end of the battery. Uh, it still runs, but it doesn't have much power. So, uh, we've been running. I did all this with the battery. There is quite a bit of thickness on here, and it has uh, the heart, which is pretty hard going right through here. So, I've been doing about 40 minutes of carving on this right now to uh, get it up to where we've got it right now. So uh, uh, I think as far as battery life that's pretty good. The battery is kind of warm right now so it doesn't charge on the charger until it cools down. So the charger is programmed so you put it in the charger when it's warm and it waits for it to cool down before it charges. So it probably will take a little bit more than 45 minutes to charge it. I'll put in the next battery. I got a second battery and I'll continue working on this. <laughs> So this is the second uh, battery charge. So uh, now with two batteries I've gotten this far. So two full charges on the battery. And uh, so I, I kind of got to admit that the saw is a little underpowered for the big cuts. The reason why it was stopping on that first cut is that it was underpowered. And the, uh, in the small cuts it's pretty good and it's pretty easy to control.
hooked onto with the third battery. After the chainsaw, uh, I'm just smoothing it out with my chisels, just taking out the roughness from the chainsaw. So the chainsaw is a really a nice tool for a quick rough out. From start to right where I have now is uh, only about maybe two, three hours. Yesterday we roughed this Bugs Bunny out and uh, today we're putting the finishing touches on it. What I'm doing here is putting in the texture for the hair. So um, the first step was to rough it out with the chainsaw. Then I took my chisels and I smoothed it. I put in the details with my chisel and uh, now I'm putting in the hair. And to put the hair in, let me demonstrate. I uh, think this technique is uh, pretty nice. Let me get up close to where you can kind of see it here. And I've got a uh, chisel. Uh, it is a gouge. It's a, like a number seven. It doesn't make any difference what the sweep is. And what I'm going to do is use the chisel in this direction. You see, so I'm cutting a chip. You can see the chip curling up from the block. So it's, you can make a lot of lines in a hurry by just pulling it. So I'm kind of plowing. I have my uh, chisel skewed so it's not perpendicular with the cut. It's skewed just a little bit. Now I can skew it more for a wider cut and less for a narrower cut. See, but see how quickly it is you, you can make lines for hair. Thank you for watching.